think the most overlooked strategy, but in your area, if you can locate whatever sport you're in, all of the fields, all of the schools, where, where are the games, the tournaments, where, where's everything being played at? And go spend like $20 on a polo. Like you get a polo like this, go spend $10, take it to an embroidery store, get your logo on it. And this weekend, go out to the fields or the gyms or the parks, wherever, wherever your clients are, and just go talk to people. Like a lot of coaches like to hide behind this, right? They, they, they think this is the, the answer to everything. Social media is not the answer to everything. Um, and going out and, and being professional and talking to people, that, that doesn't mean she's going to go hand out business cards or, or smash everyone's windshield with flyers. It's, Physically going out, talking to people, getting phone numbers, asking coaches, asking uh, team managers if there's a way you can put on a free session for the team. I, I have done that stuff hundreds of times, especially at the beginning of my business. I, that's how I got clients. I Because I started my business before social media. This was mm-hmm. like a long time ago. And so like physically going out and speaking with people is probably one of the fastest ways to get clients. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you have to be someone who's trustworthy. And that's why if you, if you have a shirt and you look professional and you talk with people with confidence, like you can get a hundred rejections in one day, but you might talk to two people that give you their phone number and that could turn into thousands of dollars of revenue in your business.